I just accidentally hit my dog on the nose. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry. Ugh. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be talking about Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 22. This episode was a lot better um, compared to the other ones. I didn't do a review for the last episode because I just did not see the point because I really, I just did not enjoy it one bit and I'm not really like that with Walking Dead like I you know I'll find something to like in an episode but I feel like with the last episode I had nothing to talk about it was just about Carol and she was making soup and there were rats and I don't even remember really what happened because I feel like nothing really happened with this episode I thought it was really interesting it had Negan's backstory I love how Hilary Burton was in there his real life wife I love her, she's from One Tree Hill, which I love. Yeah, it was really cool having her as Lucille. I thought it was really interesting seeing Negan from that perspective, seeing him be more innocent and begin where he's just about his wife. He's trying to, he's doing everything for her. He's not his evil self that, you know, we all know Negan to be. You see him, you see that develop, but you see him start out just, you know, his wife has cancer. They've got a dilemma because they're running out of power, so she can't have all the access to the medicine and all the stuff that she needs to, to survive, really, and she's just basically dying. You know, we also find out that he cheated on Lucille and that she is still with him, so he's done his fair share of being, like, a pretty crap husband. She still stays with him. She finds out she's sick, and she finds out she's been cheated on as well. It's weird seeing Negan in this sort of normal, domesticated life because you just forget that that's what it was like back then before all the like zombies and everything walkers i should say not zombies in walking dead it's walkers yeah it just feels really weird saying zombies but yeah i just love the chemistry between hillary burton and jeffrey dean morgan i feel like it's real obviously it's real because they're married but i just feel like it was really heartbreaking to see Negan and Lucille and how he still loves his wife as you see towards the end of the episode where he remembers her whereas this whole time he hasn't really talked about Lucille he's got the bat and everything but he doesn't really remember her like he has in this episode at the end where I think he said something like this is for you or I'm fighting for you or something like that I don't remember because it was a few weeks ago now but basically he's acknowledging Lucille and his shortcomings and, and what he did wrong and that he just wants to dedicate his life to her now and the fight to her. We see it sort of begin, this whole thing, how he becomes Negan, where he got captured and was going to get tortured, um, but he escaped. But then there's a time where he hit someone with the bat. It sort of began after Lucille died, where he then got that guy back who captured himself. And I think it was his friend, um, but basically, yeah, he got that guy back and that was his first kill or was his second because I think he killed someone another time as well so basically yeah that was the sort of start of Lucille but I was thinking the whole time nothing major really happened to him like he didn't have a crazy upbringing he had a wife he had a normal life and then he just sort of out of nowhere became the way he was with the bat and everything I know in the end he used it in defense but it's not like something crazy happened to him it was just messed up in the head and just was a psycho so it's really weird um i thought it was great like it was it's great seeing the backstory and how we became negan but yeah he didn't really have like a crazy upbringing where he should be like a bit psycho and and show no mercy because really i get when someone messes with your family or someone's going to kill you you know use the bat whatever but it's weird how we kill glenn and abraham and other people that didn't deserve it and innocent people and it became this monster i can't see why he became this monster in my opinion it still does make sense though it's, it's hard to explain it does make sense the backstory was great but i just feel like when you see that he just sort of switched on to become this monster it's like his wife died he, he witnessed it i guess maybe him witnessing his wife being dead it just changed him but hey like it happens to other characters and they didn't turn into psycho it was interesting at the end though as i said how he said you know i'll fight for you lucille and he gets rid of the bat that is interesting because i feel like now we've seen him change i feel like he's one of the characters that's really gone on a massive journey not the only one you know there are a lot of characters that have come full circle and, and gone on a massive journey like daryl obviously rick carol 
you know, there's a lot of them. But Negan's definitely one of them. It's interesting to think what's going to happen now with him. Like, he's got rid of the bat. Is he going to continue to be on Carol's side and everyone's side? Or is he going to... Is there a bit of malice still there? Because he does look at Maggie a little bit weird. He does smirk at her and that makes me feel uncomfortable because why are you doing that? Like, these guys accepted you into the family and you're giving Maggie these weird eyes and smirking and being a smart ass. So it annoys me a little bit the way he's treating Maggie. I think he should just be a little bit more careful, in my opinion. Otherwise, if he doesn't, he's going to get kicked out. So I don't know why he's being a bit of a smart ass. But yeah, overall, I think in that episode, you see him as a human being, not a monster. You see why he, you know, gets to where he is. Yeah, as I said, I feel like he didn't need to get to that extreme like something in him made him become the monster he is. But um, you see the origins, I guess, of, of why he started to go a little bit weird. But it was really sad to see his wife die and, and struggle and him to be so helpless. Clearly no one was around them. It's, it was just them. They were very isolated, very alone. So I'm guessing they lost all their family and everyone. And yeah, like he had no kids or anything. So he just had her and he lost her so it makes sense for him to go a little bit weird overall i really enjoyed the episode i thought it was a good strong finish out of all those extra episodes we were given i think that that one was one of my favorite i'm really looking forward to season 11 the final season i feel like it does need to end and i'm excited i'm sad it's going to end but i'm excited for this season i feel like it's going to be really good and I'm gonna miss the show so much because I do love the show I think it's one of the best shows it's one of my favorite shows and yeah I don't want it to end but at the same time I feel like it does need to end because we don't want it to just keep going and have pointless storylines and just like recycled storylines we need it to end strong and end well but yeah thank you so much for watching comment below and let me know what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe as well and I will see you in the next video